Hi everyone, welcome to Tracen's Martial Art Channel, a new episode of Kung Fu Debunked. We're gonna look at whether or not Mantis is mostly about throwing and locking. Now recently, if you've been following my channel, you will know that I've gone into a heated argument with someone called Devil Ross, who was very upset about my video about whether or not Chinese traditional martial art, aka Quan Fa, was predominantly striking based or predominantly throwing blade, right? So his argument is that, you know, in certain styles of Chinese martial arts, such as Mantis, Tanan Quan, there is mostly throwing and locking, and very few striking. Now keep in mind that in my original video, I only say that from the name of Quan Fa, and from the observation of all the styles in general, you can see that it is more striking based, while still having throwing and joint locking. I'm not saying that it's only striking, I'm saying that it's predominantly striking most of the time with throwing and joint locking as supplement, which I believe is, a, is a quite a, a fair assessment. For some reason, he got very upset about that, and he insisted that there are certain styles like mentors that is mostly throwing and locking. Obviously, even if that is true, it still does not prove my statement false because mentors is just one style. You know, to prove his point, he had to prove that majority of the Chinese martial arts styles, aka Quan Fa, is predominantly throwing bangs, and that obviously is not true. And on top of that, even Mantis, his, you know, his argument is actually not true. Now, I've offered that, you know, I've offered to him that, you know, I know about 12 Mantis form, 9 from Tai Chi Palm Flower, 3 from Seven Star, and my mom, uh, my Mantis teacher, he also does a uh, 6 harmony. So I've seen, you know, him and my fellow Tai Chi uh, Mantis brothers that do uh, 6 harmony, and I can also be pretty sure that Six Harmony also is predominantly striking focused. I offered to David Ross that you know I can show him all 12 forms and go through all the applications, then you will see that it is at least 75% striking. And obviously, you know, he didn't want to take me up on the offer, he just wanted to make arguments and, and you know call names and be mean about everything. So, you know, I don't want to waste time with him anymore, but I thought it's a good practice to make a video just talk about this for the rest of you who are open-minded about this kind of argument. Now obviously, for his argument to be true, Mantis must be mostly about throwing and locking. So I'm not going to show all 12 forms on camera because that will take forever. But it's quite easy here because his argument is that it is mostly throwing and locking. So to prove him wrong, all I have to show is just that you know, one form is not about that. I'm going to show you that all the form I know is not mostly about throwing and locking. But like I said, due to time constraint, I'm not going to show you all the forms. But you know, even if I just show you one form out of the lot, and if, if 75% of it is striking, then naturally his statement can't be true. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a form from the Ma family, right? It's a mental system that came from Grandmaster Ma Han Qing, taught to me through his disciple Ma Wei Ling Lao Shi. I'm going to show you. Jai Yao Yi Lu, right, which is summarized form one. Jai means uh, picking, Yao means important. So, so, so Jai Yao literally should be translated into summary. The reason I decided to pick this form is one of the most basic form, and also it is a summarized form of Mantis, which means it should be a good representation of what Ma family Tai Chi Pound Flower Mantis techniques are all about. It should be a fair balance of all the techniques. Obviously, the, oh, the other form that I know is the same. But I just decided to show this one in particular because it is the basic and it's a summarized form. And I do have to clarify that there are many versions of the right? the Ma family will do it this way, you know, the, the Shandong branch will do it another way, so when it passed up to Taiwan, they have to do it another way. But I've seen a lot of different versions of summarized form one. Even though the flavor is different, some details are different, but the overall flow and move are the same because obviously in the end of the day, all Tai Chi Plum Flower Plum, all Tai Chi Plum Flower Mantis, summarized from one, came from the same manuscript, or have the same description and the same move list. So even though the flavor difference, but the moves should more or less be the same. And lastly, I'd like to say that this isn't an applicational video. Right? I'm not trying to teach you how to do Mantis. You can't learn Mantis from watching a video. A lot of this application is probably not practical anymore in this modern context. This is purely a theoretical study to see if Mantis is mostly throwing and locking or mostly striking. 
So don't take this video and try to learn Mantle. That's not the intention of this video. So I'm going to go through from the beginning. The first set of movements, you start off like this. Bi shou, punch, go shou, punch, fan bei chui, kick, and another bi shou. Okay, so let, let's run through that. The first one here is called shutting hand. It's one of the 14 words that is the most fundamental uh, basic power uh, in Hong Kong mantis. So for that, you know, it's when somebody punches with that hand and you shut him off like this. Right? It's a, a rotational force, not a hard knock. It's just here and then a punch, which he blocks. So from here, you pull it back, another punch, which he blocks, and then you come through here and for five tray, which he blocks again, and then you kick it. Well, that's the first combo. And you can already see it's four strikes. It's punch, 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 and the kick. No throw, no drill lock. Let's move on. The next one is called B show again, but it's a different B show. It's well, it's a different move, but in in the 14 world, it's still considered the the shut shutting hand. So there's just two main usage. One is when I'm, you know, from this kick or not kick, doesn't matter. But on retreat, if you throw the punch, you just do do, do this and you, and you you shut him off. Hence the shutting hand. You can also use this in the forward with motion. Where when he punches, you go you. You go back here, and then you push show toward the, the end of his, his, his uh, shoulder, and you get him off balance like that. It's also a big show. So again, you can see that uh, it isn't precisely striking, but it's not now and it's not striking. Right? It's not throwing, it's not locking. It's a blocking kind of technique. So from here, it goes into this, and then that. So this is one of the Something you can, you can call Tina. Basically, it follows from Bishou. If I step back, when he punches, I'm going to grab him. And then from here, I'm going to attack this wrist. In the same time, you know, either kick him or, or just step on him, up to your option. And after this, you can also from here follow through with a punch, depending on your personal preference. So this will be considered a Na, because I'm holding him here. That's the first Na. But we already have like five strikes, right? From here, there, from here, it's a punch, here, there, and that. So what this combo is for, you can either do this just individually or following the previous motion, which is here. So I first attack his uh, wrist, but this can't end the fight. You can't just do this and say, ha, I, I, I've won. So after this, you follow through by doing low show, right, and then punching him on the collarbone, it's called swoop trip. So from here, once I, you know, once I uh, apply my force and he's struggling against it, I'm gonna come back and punch him there. But like I said, you can also do this without that move, but just in punching, and uh, I do that, right? So it's swoop trip, low short swoop trip. And no matter which way, you start up this move, once I do a swoop trip, he blocks, I'm gonna lead this, grab it, and yank him out. As I know some people are going to say, ah, here's another drill, another qin na. It's actually not. If you look at the definition of qin na, right, it means to seize or to catch and to hold. That means fundamentally, or in essence, qin na is about putting him in a drill lock and holding him into submission, right? When you're standing, or like in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, where you know you do arm bar and stuff, you basically hold him, either he submits or you break his arm. But this, is not designed as a whole. Instead, it's as a temporary inconvenience. So, strictly speaking, this isn't China. This is just a manipulation of his structure or his arm. On the full motion, starting from that hand, is you know, low super tray. I'm going to yank this and pull this way. And as he struggles against it, I'm going to swing this around and punch him in the face. Right? So, that's why from here, it's there, and there, and the hit. So I yank his arm so this way, even if he doesn't struggle, it doesn't matter. All I need to do is yank this way, yank that way, and while he's just orientated to the punch in the face, and then punch him in the neck. And from there, another kick. So you can either do this, follow up, hit him, and kick, or you can just do the kick, it doesn't really matter. And from the kick, it goes into a punch to the stomach, another strike. You see, up to now, there's strictly speaking one qin one not really qin 
a lot of strikes and no throw. Come here on the other side, open up your hand, kick, another kick, and then step back, another B shot. So here, using your hand open up like this, it's basically to grab a kick. So if you were to kick me, I can either go this way and grab it that way, or this way and grab it that way. I'm not going to do it because the square means. But that's the idea. So it's like grabbing somebody's leg and then throwing it out the way and then doing a kick myself. So that is basically this. And the other one is basically the same B shot, right? When he punches, I'm going to block and then kick, kick him and then step back. The way to distance myself from, from him. Which are again, all striking base. And from here, the next technique goes like this. Strong form, fan bei tree, and hit. So what is this for? When you throw the punch, it's called double ceiling, strong form. Double ceiling, and I go for the neck or for the face, it doesn't matter. And when he blocks, I'm gonna cai shou, right, or lue shou, and then do a hook to the head or, or, or the temple. So that's basically this, and that. And when he blocks that, I come around, I back first. And when he blocks the, the back first, that pulls us out, and then double punch. So that's that whole, whole combo. Double ceiling, century, back first, and double punch. And from here, the next technique is like that. So what is that for? When he punches, you catch his arm. And again, you know this, you can confuse it to a chin now, but based on my previous explanation, I'm not trying to hold him to a submission here. You can't. It's more of a striking to the joints rather than a chin now. So, so in essence, it's actually, you can say it's a joint manipulation, but it's more striking rather than holding or you know, joint locking, you're not trying to lock, it's a very fast thing, all I'm going to try to do is to hit his joints, which will cause a response for him to bend his arm. Well, once he bends his arm, I'm going to grab his hair, or go for the back of the neck, depending on your reach, with his hair or there, and then I'm going to knee him right in the stomach. So that's this move, right? It's here, there, grab, and then fly knee. Again, even though this might look like China, is actually a striking base technique. This is just to briefly uh, inconvenient him. So his attention goes here, but then grab his hair, grab his back of the neck, and knee him in the stomach. The knee is actually the main point of this technique. So from here, it comes down to the block here, kick, hit, grabbing, circular punch. So this, is you can either use it for a straight punch or for a hook because you have both hands so you can sustain the impact, right? Usually a hook has a lot more power, you try to stop it like this, it's usually a crumble, but if you go with both hands, it's a solid structure, so it's easier to keep the impact. But again, you can also use it for a straight hand. If you use it for a straight hand, then this is more like a strike to the face. And at the same time, it's a ball kick. So it's like here, and you kick in the, so that way your foot is told it this way, is to kick the balls in there. It's not a kick this way, but a kick that way. So like the leg is the same position as your hand. So, so, so it's kicking here, and then from here, it's a hit there. And when he blocks that, you pull, and then now the hook back backwards. So that's this. And from here, Shuang Feng's will be trick. That will see the hand into a collarbone punch. And from here, there, there, and that. So double ceiling hand and the collarbone punch is quite simple. The back strikes you, the double ceiling hand, and then you punch in the collarbone. You can also punch in the face, but in the manuscript it's called collarbone punch. So at least when it was designed, it intended to hit here. But I mean, of course not, there's nothing stopping you from hitting the right face. So it's basically here, and when he blocks, then you use nian uh, shou, when you take a hand and turn it outwards like, like, like this. When you do Nian Shou, you go for the eyes, it's called Sao Yin, slashing the eyes. And in doing that, you force his arm to come and stop you. And once he does, he comes over, you elbow him in the face, and then you trip him down. 
So this will probably be the first throw up until this point. And this isn't an exactly a throw because the hot hover is actually coupled to the fence. So it's like a strike that is mixed with a throw. You can argue that it's a throw, but at least half of it is striking. So from here, the block, a kick, and a tee. The block and kick is quite simple. When somebody catches you, you block and then you kick in. Right, that's not to explain. The P, well, you can either, starting from this way, you need to sit here, you kick to the face, it also can be from that, that, that side, it doesn't matter, this is a very straightforward and forceful move, no trickery to it, so it's there, and from, from here, it's there, there, and there. So what this is for is, when somebody punches, you do, again, double sitting hand, and you do an upper, upper punch, and once he tries to stop that, then you intercept it, so you occupy his vision, and then you'll be punching in the solar places or in the ribs. That's why it's here, there, there. And this is pretty much the first half of summarized or Jai Yao, Yi Lu, right? summarized form one. Uh, the next part, the next half of the form, unfortunately I'm gonna put them to Patreon only, not because there is something special or hidden or secretive. It's just that, you know, I do have Patreon supporters and I do have to make content exclusively for them. But that's the only reason why the next part will be Patreon only, to make them feel, you know, they have some privileges over the rest of my viewers. Um, but after this point, you don't have to cut the whole form. You can really see that the Mars Family Mentors is a striking oriented system. Now, even if this is just one lineage of tiny plant flower mantis, it's already a pretty good evidence that David Ross's argument that mantis is mostly about Shui and Na is can't be true. If that is true, then all mantis villagers need to be more, more, mostly about Shui and Na. If just one of them is not, then he's then isn't true. And furthermore, like I said, I've, I have seen other villages of Taiji plant for our mantis, and they jai yao form one looks very similar. It's the same technique, same manuscript, just different flavor, slightly different hand position, different entry, different initiation, but the core idea of each move is pretty much the same. And furthermore, the same star mantis form that I've learned from Zhang Yingchao Chao Shi is pretty much in the same relationship. It's also mostly striking with some Na and Shui here and there. And of course, Six Harmony is mostly striking. So this, I believe, is a pretty good evidence. I mean, you know, if someone's really bored, I can always make more. But I think this is good enough to show you that Mantis, at least, from the few lineages that I've interacted and learned from, is at least 75% striking with some shrug and some not here and there. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, then please subscribe on our YouTube channel and make sure you click on the bell icon so that you get updated as soon as I upload a new video. I'd like to give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon, it has helped me greatly. And, you know, and beyond that, it's also letting me know that there are people out there who appreciate my content. Right? As a content creator, nothing worse than making videos and then, you know, getting the feeling that people don't actually appreciate the information that I'm sharing. So that's actually more important to me than the monetary support, although that's also very good. So thank you everyone on Patreon to support me. And always feel free to contact me if you have any questions, suggestions for future content, or questions about existing content. All right? And lastly, Keep safe, keep your distance, get vaccinated if you can. Unfortunately, in South Africa, we can't get vaccinated yet. I mean, we haven't got it either, right? Uh, well, only for the frontline workers. Yeah, and so, and so, so if your country is, lot, is, is better than South Africa, where you actually can get vaccinated, please do so. And you know, the more people get vaccinated, the more we are going to reach herd immunity, and then you know, that will eventually allow us to put this whole nightmare behind us. Anything you want to add? Um, no. So thanks for watching Trans the Marshall channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.